Standing 36 stories high, it weighs more than a battle cruiser. The greatest weight ever lifted off the ground. It takes 450 staff to control the countdown. Von Braun's Saturn V is to carry the unmanned Apollo capsule into orbit. For safety, the press are held behind a three and a half mile exclusion zone. For Von Braun, everything hinges on the reliability of his engines. exception of a nuclear bomb blast, the Saturn V is the loudest man-made object ever built. It registers on earthquake sensors across America. For 125 seconds, the flight is flawless. Flight booster. Go. We're losing thrust. Roger that. Uh, we have a problem. We have Pogo plus minus 10 Gs. Pogo. Powerful vibrations down the length of the rocket. If they become violent enough, they'll cause the rocket to break up. Combustion instability. Frequency? Five to six cycles per second. Wait, wait. Wait, it's over. Stage one separated. the Saturn limps into orbit, von Braun cannot risk a man flight until the engine problems are fixed. The Soviets also have engine problems. Their new designer Nikolai Kuznetsov has been forced to add extra engines to provide more thrust. The first stage now has 30. Bart Kuznetsov faces criticism from Koryalov's old adversary, Valentin Glushko. During the static firing of the NK-15, there was a partial blowout of the combustion chamber. Uh, comrades, uh, we need not go any further. At this stage, uh, I wish to propose redesigning the N-1. I have plans that would utilize our proven RD-235 engine. Ignoring Glushko's opposition, Koryanov's dream rocket, the N-1, makes a fleeting appearance on the pad. But engineers find cracks in its outer casing. Werner. Werner. We've had reports reports from the CIA that the Russians are getting close to a manned circumlunar flight, maybe by the end of the year. Like what? 
These are classified satellite shots of the launch pad at Tura 10. They show a Saturn-sized rocket. We feel that the uh, next Saturn V Apollo launch, Apollo 8, should take a crew around the moon. What's well, insane. We won't have just flown a Saturn since we had the engine failure and pogo problem. I know, but we can't take the chance that they do it first. Whoever sends men around the moon will have as good as won the race. It will be a massive propaganda victory. That's some proposition to commit human life. Well, maybe if we'd taken a little more risk before, we would have got an American up there first. Known to von Braun, without Sergei Koryalov, the Soviets are floundering. Why wasn't I told? Why wasn't I told? What's wrong? I lost pressure. The peroxide temperature is low, minus five. Not going anywhere. With the cosmonauts losing faith in mission, they appeal to the Politburo for a man flight around the moon in early December. They are prepared to gamble their own lives to beat the Americans. The cosmonaut's request is denied. Good luck, Americans. Good luck. send three astronauts to fly around the moon for the first time. T plus 155 seconds, first stage has separated. The Saturn hasn't flown since the engine and pogo problems. Apollo, you're looking good. Your trajectory and guidance are no. Trust is fine. Engines are fine. Once the rocket stages drop away, a critical step is TLI, translunar injection. The final engine burn to set them on a course for the moon. Apollo 8, your go for TLI. Roger, understand. We are go for TLI. <laughs> Frank Borman, Jim Lovell, and Bill Anders have to fly 234,000 miles out into space and navigate for the first time into the moon's orbit. On Christmas Eve, the crew of Apollo 8 become the first human beings to look down on the lunar surface. As they disappear behind the moon, all radio contact is lost. If they fail to lock into the moon's orbit, they will fly on, forever lost in space. Apollo 8, come in. Apollo 8, this is Houston. Apollo 8. Apollo 8, this is Houston.
suddenly as they emerge from the far side of the moon, a sight unseen by human eye. The rising Earth, shining over the moon's bleak surface. Good luck, America.